During the final months of World War II, a small detail of U.S. soldiers was assigned to search out, secure, and return trainloads of precious artwork stolen by the Nazis. They became known as the Monuments Men. While Nazi forces were ransacking Europe's cities and plundering her priceless art treasures, the United States was devising a plan to reclaim what had been stolen. Just to give you some kind of feel for the extent, Hitler's collection of paintings reached 4,100 paintings that he had in his particular collection uh, alone. Harry Etlinger was a buck private in the army, 19 years old and about to be sent into battle. But because he spoke German, he was assigned instead to the recovery project. My most precious birthday gift I ever got in my life uh, that uh, occurred on that particular day. Out of the eight men that I went overseas with, three of them were killed in action and five more wounded. And it, it has affected me mentally and spiritually that uh, I was saved. Harry still believes he was spared for a reason. It's one thing that uh, I'm proud of and one thing that I tell all Americans they should be proud of, that we stood for the first time in the history of civilization, not for the destruction, not for the thievery of culture, but for the saving of culture. About 350 men and women from 13 nations took part in the Monuments Men project. In all, they recovered more than five million paintings and other stolen artifacts, then saw to it that they were returned to their rightful owners. Harry himself uncovered this Rembrandt self-portrait stashed in a salt mine in Germany, just one of many masterpieces that were recovered by the Monuments Men. It was the focus and passion of these men and women that really helped preserve some of the greatest treasures of European and world culture. Archivist Michael Kurtz is the author of a book about the Monuments Men. I've dedicated my book to the Monuments Fine Arts and Archives officers because I think they are real and genuine American heroes. They were going into these mines. There were mines that um, the Germans had left um, munitions behind with the idea of trying to blow them up. This took a lot of physical courage as well as hard work. Surviving Monuments men like Harry Etlinger know well the price that was paid in achieving their mission. Many, many hundreds of Americans lost their lives because of the difficulties of trying to come along and save the culture of Europe. The story of what they achieved has become an inspiring reminder of our own nation's historical heritage, which has so often depended on the heroic actions of individuals like the Monuments Men. It is said that the Monuments Men weren't just saving art, but hundreds of years of culture. <laughs>